I'm sure many of us remember the tank gun from the campaign of Halo Infinite. Well, you can now use that tank gun in the multiplayer of Halo Infinite, and this is what happened. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Yes, the classic BTB heavies has returned within Halo Infinite, and that is within the Combat Workshop playlist. We talked about this in a previous video while I was on a call with 343, listening in about their future plans with Halo Infinite and stuff like that. They're going to be doing a Combat Workshop, which is going to be essentially a mode where they'll be testing out various things within Halo Infinite, new modes, maps, etc. That's kind of like a beta test in a way, and then you have a opportunity to provide your feedback through various surveys. Every year, you have to ask yourself the same question, what gift can I give my dad for Father's Day? Well, Ridge is making gifting easy with one of their biggest sales of the year for Father's Day, where you can save up to 40% on their products. As some Someone who upgraded from the classic bulky wallets to the Ridge wallet, I can easily say it's a game changer. I don't have this huge bulky wallet in my back pocket throwing off my spine causing a lot of back problems I was having. I just put my Ridge wallet in my front pocket and sometimes I don't even notice it's there. While in a compact size, it still holds up to 12 cards and cash. Designed with RFID blocking materials that protects you from digital pit pocketers and 30 plus color styles to choose from, Ridge has got you covered. The key case slims down your key situation, removing that classic jingly mess. When you pair a key case with a wallet, you can get up to 30% off your order. Over 3 million customers and 50,000 five-star reviews, Ridge is bringing quality with their products. The Ridge team is so confident that they'll let you test drive it for 99 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. To check out Ridge, follow the link in the description and pinned comment of this video. Now that you know everything you need to know about Ridge, let's get right back into those details. So this first go around, they're using BTB Heavy. It's a classic mode that we're all familiar with, very vehicle focused, where I played a few rounds with this and it really didn't really feel that vehicularly focused. It felt a bit more like a controlled Super Fiesta in a way. Because we all played Super Fiesta when it came to BTB and it was just total chaos. People love it. I'm not a huge fan of it. BTB heavies though, it's more like, okay, you spawn with a battle rifle and an assault rifle, and it's up to you to kind of pick up all the fun stuff that's on the map. And there's more of it when it comes to BTB heavies. They even threw in some campaign vehicles, which I thought was really cool. I got the Brute Chopper that was from the campaign. While it looked awesome, shot really cool, it's a glass cannon. It blew up as soon as I jumped into it. Wait, is that like the Super Chopper or something right here? Yeah, this is like a Super Chopper. Dude, look at the, look at the way, look at the wheels spinning. My chopper is RGB, man. Oh, this thing shoots fast, too. Wow. Wait, am I about to blow up already? Dude, my thing is a glass cannon. It took like one bullet and it blew up. And like I said earlier, the tank gun is in this mode, but it's only on the map breaker and it spawns kind of in the back of the map. So if, unless, unless you're looking for it, you're probably going to miss it. And once chat kind of called out like, hey, it's in the back of the map, I went to go grab it. And yeah, I found it and I had some fun. That's until a certain YouTuber got into my lobby. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I really want to make sure I land my shot on this. No! He has one! It's mint blitz! Of course! Of all the people who would stop me from having the freaking tank gun! It's mint blitz! God damn it! I was so happy I got the tank gun. And then mint blitz she goes, hey, crikey. That's not a tank gun. Now this is a tank gun. It's like, come on, man. We're fellow content creators. Let's just, you know, let's, let's work together on this. Come on, right? And don't worry. It looks like we will have the combat workshop for at least two weeks until the end of this month. Surprisingly, the combat workshop wasn't the only addition made within Halo Infinite. Right now, we have a new map put into the ranked rotation, and that map is Starboard. This is basically the midship recreation 
put into Halo Infinite's rank system with the mode Slayer and CTF playable on this map. And based off of player feedback, they've said that Slayer comes up a little too often when it comes to the ranked rotation, so they actually decreased the amount of times you were playing Slayer. I played a good amount of ranked tonight also, and I will say that it definitely came up less. I felt like it was a good medium now of objective and also Slayer matches. But back on Starboard, the recreation of Midship, one of the greatest maps of all time, put into Halo Infinite, how does it play with the battle rifle spawns? Well, it's a bit tough actually, because there is a, the line of sights are quite open at the moment. And so then it seems like every time I'm spawning, I need to keep my head like on a swivel because anytime I can get shot from any angle, that's kind of like how midship was, but it feels a little different on this one. I'll definitely need some more time playing on this map, but it took me two and a half hours of playing rank to get this map one time. Now I'm sure this also begs the question, will we see the map Starboard, a Forge map, put into the main stage of HCS events since essentially the ranked experience does effectively mirror the HCS experience even though Tasha did state that that's not intended, but that's kind of how it plays out. So I tweeted at the head of HCS Tashi saying, will we see Starboard on the main stage as in HCS events? He actually replied back saying Starboard is a playlist only option. Now after playing Starboard, I can kind of agree with that, but I definitely want to get some more time with the map to really understand like what could be improved if it does fit with the ranked experience very well, because the battle rifle, even though it got nerfed, it's still very effective. But that's kind of how it was back in Halo 2 and a little bit also in Halo 3 as well. And the one time I did play Starboard, we definitely matched against some sweaty boys that play late in the evenings on weeknights. If you had a chance to play BTB heavies or Starboard within rank, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to know more about the future plans of Halo Infinite that 343 stated within this Discord call, well, check out this video right here. They talk about cross-core and future campaign possibilities. Thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.